Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing a video series of videos I've been doing for a while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, I may or may not have been on my way to do another review and found something to review on the way. But anyway, I'm inside the truck. I'm wearing a cool shirt, though. When I wear a cool shirt, I always like to highlight the cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing today, folks? Well, we're wearing my, boom, my Soul Share shirt. What the fuck is Soul Share? Uh, I've worn this shirt a couple times before on other reviews, but uh, indulge me, if you will. Uh, Soul Share, they were a local band out of Illinois. Uh, I was fortunate enough, I actually became associated with them. They were playing with another local band. I was a big fan of, um, still am, but they're kind of not a band also. And I ended up uh, seeing these guys. They were really fantastic. I ended up getting to know them a little bit. Extremely good dudes. Every single one of them. Sadly, uh, the, the Soul Sharer thing is now defunct. Uh, has been for a few years now. I've talked with a couple of them about like, hey, you know, maybe do like a reunion show or something. And uh, yeah, the response has been typically like, eh probably not going to happen, but here's hoping. I love Soul Share. I love rocking this shirt, even if it's a, it's a little bit too tight on me. <laughs> but anyway, what am I reviewing for y'all? Uh, so yeah, and actually, I should mention this. I actually have uh, a few videos of Soul Share on this very channel. Took some videos that I, you know, of performances of theirs that I saw, you know, while they were around. Uh, they also, I think, still have like a band camp and stuff like that. They're really good. Check them out if you get the opportunity. But anyway, yeah, so I was on my way to go head over to Freddy's Steak Burger's place to go over there and uh, do something for a review. That'll probably be the next review I did. And I decided to stop off at Circle K because there's not too many Circle Ks in my immediate area. Whenever I pass by one, I like to do so so that I can go over there and get one of these. One of the Mountain Dews Purple Thunder. I actually did a couple reviews for this when it first came out. Go watch those videos. But they also had something else that piqued my interest when I made my way by. So what am I trying for y'all today, folks? We're doing boom! It is the Chuck Wagon Sandwich. It's a uh, Circle K Chuck Wagon Sandwich. It's bologna, salami, ham, and cheese on a poppy seed bun. I mean, normally I wouldn't bother with something like this because it's like, oh, it's like, I don't, you know, just a little gas station sandwich. But they actually went out of their way to give it a name. That kind of gives a little personality. So I figure, what the fuck? It's, look, folks, it's, I'm not saying it's high art, okay? It's not. You know what you're in for. I do the things, I eat the stuff, I try to make it a little entertaining. I bring up some band stuff sometimes. It's good times, good times. Okay, times. So let's take a look at this thing. Ha 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 ha! Sandwich, 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 sandwich. Okay, cheese is in this. Got to be Swiss, right? It doesn't say. It just says cheese. That looks like Swiss to me, maybe. Anyway, let's try out a gas station sandwich because life is short. How? Oh. Maybe it's like two cheeses. I got like a white cheese and a yellow cheese. Maybe it's like a cheddar. That would probably make more sense. Maybe like a Swiss and a cheddar. That's what I'm guessing. Um, I'll say this right off the bat. You can taste the bologna. It's... um. It's definitely the most prominent flavor out of the out of the meats. Boy, oh boy, this is we're gonna shield ourselves a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
How attractive is that, folks? I mean, okay. I'll say this right now. I kind of think that, okay, go with me on this. It's supposed to be bologna, salami, and ham. How many layers of meat do I have there? That appears to be two layers of meat. I kind of think, I'm pretty sure this is just fucking bologna. Like, that just looks like straight up bologna. The only other possibility, the only other possibility is that <laughs> unless they went over there and took bologna, salami, and ham and compressed it into one item. Because all I'm really getting from this is bologna. And a shitload of cheese. I genuinely think this is just bologna and cheese. Because I'm really not getting anything else. And this to me just looks like fucking bologna. So, like I said, unless they took the time to compress three meats into, into singular items... This is just bologna and cheese. Straight fucking up. Because I'm not getting any ham. I'm not getting any salami. And it's a shame because in terms of what it is for being a gas station sandwich, it's not terrible. But here's why it's not terrible. Because a bologna and cheese sandwich is one of like the lowest rent, like, you know, sandwiches that you can just make at home. It's a simple thing. Bologna... Well, it's rarely anybody's favorite. It, it works well. It's just, it's a simple deli meat. So the thing is, this works perfectly fine because a bologna and cheese works perfectly fine in almost every situation. That's really all it comes down to. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain this is just a bologna and cheese sandwich. No ham, no salami, just bologna and fucking cheese. Like I said, I'm going to say I think it's a blend of cheese. I think it's maybe Swiss and cheddar. It tastes perfectly fine, but there's nothing fucking to it besides bologna and cheese. I don't know, folks. Maybe maybe this is just one that slipped through the quality control at Circle K, if such a thing exists. Maybe they put the wrong sandwich in there. Maybe this is actually what it is. I don't know. This is the first one I've ever had. And this, to me, is a bologna and cheese sandwich. Fuck your chuck wagon nonsense. This is a bologna and cheese sandwich. It's perfectly fine. And honestly, if they just want to call it a bologna and cheese, I'd have been perfectly okay with that. But here's the deal. I got people fucking around me. Um, despite the fact that I always try to park away from people as much as possible. Like, I'm off to the side of the building. But anyway. Um, yeah, man. I mean, it's perfectly fine. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm not doing it right now. For one thing, this was the last one they had. But I might do a re-review of this. Maybe, maybe not. Because I'd be interested to see if I can get one that actually has ham and salami in it. Because ham, salami, and bologna together with some cheeses, that sounds pretty good. Even just on a gas station level. We'll see, though. We'll see. As is, this is a decent ham and bologna, or uh, I'm sorry, this is a decent bologna and cheese sandwich. It actually, it doesn't come off as being too terribly gas station-y, if you will. But at the same time, man, it's just a bologna and cheese sandwich. So, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? If they rename it the bologna and cheese sandwich, I'll get it again. Sure. I don't have anything against bologna and cheese. Brandon Wenzel is a man of the people, and bologna and cheese is a uh, sandwich of the people. Uh, but as is, I mean, the only way I would get it again, like I said, would be to do a re-review. Would I recommend it? If you want a bologna and cheese sandwich, sure. But if you want a 
bologna, salami, and ham cheese sandwich. No, because it's not that. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Stupendous rest of the year. Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly ham, sal ham salami, bologna, and cheese sandwich rest of your life. Because that's what we're supposed to get. But life can be disappointing like that. Uh, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But... We do, we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, it's not always the easiest thing to do in the world. We have deceptive sandwiches that we have to look out for, apparently. I don't know why that's a thing. It's the year 2023. You'd think that we'd be able to get sandwiches down pretty much packed, but apparently not. But even when we run into deceptive sandwiches that might go over there and frustrate us, put us into a bit of a mood, it's important to remember, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and maybe you're going to go to a circle. Okay, you're going to try yourself out a chug, chug wagon sandwich. And maybe it'll turn out that it actually has all the components that it's supposed to have. Then you go over there, you hit me up in the comments, you're like, Brandon, trust me, it's a thing, it's a thing, trust me trust in you. So then I go over there and I go back to a Circle K. I get another chuck wagon sandwich. I'm going to do a whole re-review. I'm going to have a thing because I like to be fair. And it ends up being a goddamn bologna and cheese sandwich again. Then it turns out that you're some sort of dark lord of deception, but like not a very good one. So you're like not like ending countries or anything. You're just fucking with like super low tier YouTubers like me. Why would you do that? I mean, I don't know how your, you know, malkinations work. Or conversely, don't be a low-tier, you know, like, chaos demon. Uh, instead, maybe just go over there and, uh, hell, recreate the chuck wagon sandwich with the actual items and have yourself a delicious sandwich. 